Gonna raise the bet, 25 cents? Mm -hmm. I'm out. Me too. So am I. I won again. We might know a couple of guys. We're kind of looking to sort of pull a Halloween prank. And they might need a plan. If I get kicked off the honor roll because of what you and JR did, I'll simply die. What are you talking about? Gus said it wasn't that big a deal. Wait a minute, Gus knows about this? Are you Mr. Witherspoon? I am. I'm afraid one of your kids might have some trouble coming at him. there really aren't real monsters, except on Grandpa's poker night. Good card game is like football or warfare. It isn't the army that has the most men. It isn't always the team with the biggest players. There's guile and there is strategy. It's just knowing your opponent. Deal the card, will you? Yeah. Come on, you had nothing. You had no... You didn't even have a pair of deuces. You held two cards, a jack and a six. You draw three cards, it turn out to be three more sixes. It's not strategy. It's dumb luck. It's called card sense, Gus. You develop a way of having a feeling for the flow of the game. If you put that kind of card sense on those flower beds out and back, your azaleas would probably bloom. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joe. What's the game? What are we playing here? Okay. Five card draw. Jacks are better. Open. Red threes are wild, but they can only be applied to complete a pair. Never a straight. Uh, black aces count high, red aces count high and low. Grandpa, can Bertha and I ask you a question? He's playing poker, honey bunch. Afterward, oh no, I'm out. I can't open. Oh, come on, Gus. I got no red threes or black aces. I got, I got none of that junk. I can't even play. Come on, kids. Red threes. Not me. I, I can't do a thing. All right, I open for a half. Uh, is this a private conversation, ladies? Because if it is, it looks like we got visitors here. No, it's not private. How are you doing, young man? Just looking at the stars. Good thing to do from time to time. Who's your friend? The name's J.R. Dutton. And don't let David fool you. The only reason we're looking at the stars is because there's nothing better to do. It's not the worst thing could happen to you, young man. Looking at the stars. Mr. Witherspoon, there is nothing to do around here. Wine, then. You seem to be good at it. Grandpa. What? Bertha and I found some old clothes of Grandma's in the attic. And Mom said we should ask her before we use them. Use them for what? Costumes for trick-or-treating on Halloween. We're going as Prince Charles and Lady Di. Who's who? I'm Prince Charles, and she's Lady Di. You don't want us to. I can tell by the look on your face. You go ahead and use them. We might as well get some use out of that old stuff. Guys, you in the next hand or not? I'm on my way. You sure it's all right? You look so grumpy. It's OK, precious. It's just that I'm fed up with this Halloween stuff. It's stupid. Win again? Yeah. 
two red threes and a king. How can you beat two red threes and a king? Grandpa, how can we think Halloween is so stupid and stuff? That's a lie, what you kids do. It's not, it's not true. You knock on the door, you say trick or treat. You don't do any tricks. I mean, you just hold your bag open and the people fill, fill it full of candy. Don't even remind me of Halloween when I was a kid. What was it like? It was like combat, son, between the adults and the kids. I'm not talking about knocking on the door and smearing soap on the window. We got creative. What'd you do? Am I the only one here that ever moved an outhouse? <laughs> Why would you move an outhouse? Oh, honey, you pick it straight up off the hole, you move it back about four feet, and you put it down. Then in the middle of the night, the old guy comes out of the house with his nightshirt waving in the wind, falls in the hole, and look out. <laughs> <laughs> or did you ever jack up the rear axle of a car so that the two back tires about a quarter of an inch off the pavement? The guy gets in the car, he starts to Remember how we used to switch the street signs around there? Huh? <laughs> or put a garter snake in your grandma's high button shoes. <laughs> 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 Earth to Witherspoon, Earth to Witherspoon, come in Witherspoon. Come on, David, this is Duke Monday. Are they still playing upstairs? Give us some advice and we'll let you get back to work. Advice about what? David says you're going to be a pilot in the Navy. Air Force, but so what? Well, the stuff you're studying about that. Is there anything about maneuvers or strategy or stuff like that? Not much. Why? I mean, what do you need strategy for? Well, you might know a couple of guys who are kind of looking to sort of pull a Halloween prank. And they might need a plan. And you're real good at planning things. So we thought we'd ask you, and if you came up with anything, we'd let these guys know. These guys, I'll know that they might get into trouble. Not if your plan's any good. Molly, Prince Charles doesn't have a mustache. He never has. So it'll be kind of tough explaining to anybody out there why in the world Princess Di is out with Groucho Marx. If I don't have a mustache, how will anybody know who I am? Looks like I'm Vanessa Redgrave in that tennis movie you won't explain to me. And can I have ten dollars? It'll get you off that movie. You can have anything you like. What do you want ten dollars for? To buy a pumpkin for a jack-o'-lantern. Come on, Mom, we're running late. All right. Molly, you can't carry that by yourself. David, here, take ten dollars. What for? Oh, Molly will tell you in the car. Now, where's Chris, huh? Oh, she's in the car. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Bye, Grandpa. Goodbye, little button. All right. <laughs> so long, guys. Hey, Jess. Yeah. Give me just a minute, will you? Uh, sure. I think you ought to talk with Chrissy about this Halloween business. What do you mean? Well, I heard her talking about how she's going to dress for this party. Yeah, how's that? She's going like the Madonna. And I think some of the people around here are going to be offended. That's Madonna. So long, guys. Now I know it's a mistake. I'm a faster runner than you, so I'll grab it while you're talking to the guy. You're 
not that much faster than me. Yeah, but you've got the face. What face? Your face. Grown-ups love faces like that. Ants go crazy pinching cheeks like yours. Okay, you get the guy's attention, and I'll snitch the pumpkin. It's just good casting. It's like a test of manhood. Yeah, well, what happens if I flunk this test of manhood? What's that mean? Look, you know what they do in the test of manhood for African tribes? Birth the day monster. I'd rather steal a pumpkin. Afternoon. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm, I'm looking for some directions. You see, I've got this babysitting job, and I don't know exactly where the house is located. Well, I know most of the people in the area here. Uh, what's their name? Well, I don't think you know these people. I mean, they just moved from the neighborhood and all that. What's their name anyway? Uh, their name, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Gumby. 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 No. No, it doesn't ring a bell. Where do they live? Uh, 3214 Drummond. Oh, that's easy. You just go two blocks down. Oh, can't you, like, draw down on a map or something? Like, I'm terrible at remembering directions. Sure. Go two blocks down, hang a right, and you get to the school. Okay, that's great. I can find it once I get to the school. Thanks, see you later. Yeah, say hello to the Gumbies for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, hello, Bertha. Molly's not here. She's taking her books back to the library. I know. I didn't come to see her. I came to see you. Oh, you did? What could you possibly want from me? Mom said I should come right out and just ask you. Ask me what? Why you hate me. I don't hate you, honey. Why in the world would you think I did? You call me Bertha. Well, Bertha's your name, isn't it? Yeah, but you call Molly Button, and you call Chris Sweetheart, and you call David Champ. Oh, I see. You're looking for a nickname. Wouldn't you if you were a Bertha? Don't you ever be ashamed of your name. That's the first present your mommy and daddy ever gave you. You're gonna wear it all your life. Now you be proud of it, you hear me? But will you think up a nickname for me? Cause you're good at it. You give me a couple days to stew on it. Nothing you name a dog though. Fair enough. Great-looking pumpkin, isn't it? Yeah, she's a beauty. We gotta really thank your sister for everything she said, man. It went perfect. So it did. You don't look very pumped up about it. I am. Kind of. It's just that all that stuff that Gus and his buddies were telling us last night, what about it? I don't know if it was really stealing, was it? Toothpaste could get her teeth whiter. Then she tried Aquafresh Whitening with TriClean. 
As usual, she brushed every day. And now, Kate can see the difference Aquafresh Whitening made. Her teeth look whiter, making Kate a believer. Aquafresh Whitening with TriClean gently removes stains without bleach, peroxide, or harsh abrasives to help restore teeth to their natural whiteness. Aquafresh Whitening gets teeth stronger, brighter, and TriClean whiter. On October 1st, it's Elmo's first movie. Cool. Jim Henson Pictures and Children's Television Workshop invite your family to experience the magic. Boy, that Elmo's something, huh? Share the music. And take off with Elmo on an adventure so huge, only the big screen could hold it. Elmo doesn't think he's on Sesame Street oh. anymore. The Adventures of Elmo in Grouchland. Land of a thousand stenches. <laughs> only in theaters, Lady G. Opens everywhere October 1st. Comfort. It's the feeling your baby has when she's all wrapped up, warm and happy. And Carnation Good Start helps keep her feeling that way. Good Start's the only routine formula whose proteins are broken down into smaller pieces to be easy to digest in baby's tummy. They're called comfort proteins, and only Good Start has them. Think of it as comfort food for the two of you. Carnation Good Start from Nestle. Allergies, the watery eyes, the runny nose. Now they're a little more bearable. Because Kleenex Cold Care Ultra Comfort has the three-layer system. A special absorbent middle layer surrounded by ultimate softness. You won't find a softer tissue. And Cold Care helps keep hands clean and dry, leaving you free to enjoy the things that matter most. Kleenex Cold Care, the best care for your allergies is all your nose needs. The next time you're in this chair, ask your dentist to recommend a toothpaste. Odds are it'll be Colgate Total. More dentists recommend Colgate Total than any leading toothpaste. It's the only one approved to help prevent plaque and gingivitis while fighting cavities, tartar buildup, and bad breath. And it does it for 12 hours. So take your dentist's advice and try Colgate Total. Unless this is your idea of kicking back and relaxing. Colgate Total. It's toothpaste, only better. Not too much off the top, Cliff. I'll watch it. So, Gus, what are you doing for Halloween? Oh, just answering the door and handing out candy and apples and whatnot. And taking Chris to the party and Molly and Bertha trick-or-treating. And then I got to take Dave to the movie, of course. Then I got to pick Chris up from the party and bring Molly and Bertha home from trick-or-treating and uh, pick David up from the movie. So, uh... You know, same old thing. I got it all over you. I'm just going to go out and go to a Clint Eastwood double bill, and when I get back, all the munchkins will be gone. <laughs> you know, when you raise kids these days, you, 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 don't, you don't gain on it by leaps and bounds. It's a kind of an inch-at-a-time deal. I mean, they don't all of a sudden remember to clean up their room and turn off the lights and take out the trash. It's, it's a slow process. Right now, I'm working an inch at a time trying to make this a good Halloween. I thought you said it was a stupid holiday. Oh, it is. But you know, it's the first holiday of any kind that's come up since the kids moved in. I think they're entitled to a good one. Uh, which side do you want to park this on, Joe? <laughs> I don't think Cliff asked anything that was so funny, Gus. He just made a perfectly simple statement. He asked a perfectly simple question. That is a perfectly simple question. On the right, Cliff. Mm. There, okay. Now, what do you want? A happy face or a scary face? Can't you do one that's kind of both? I'm your mother, not Michelangelo. Who's that? Come on, happy or scary? Pick it, kiddo. Scary, but with a smile. Good afternoon, all. Hi, Gus. Hi, Grandpa. Oh, careful. Artist at work. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Why 
Wipe your hands. Oh, I forgot to tell you. You had a phone call. I did, huh? Who was it from, honey? Bertha. Oh. You call her for me, will you? And tell her I haven't forgotten. I'm still working on it. Good. She's my friend, and it's not easy being a birthday, you know. That's what she says. Say, who do you know that's rich enough to leave all this money laying around? David put that there after he got back with the pumpkin. Hey, what happened Good, to my huh? helper in here? Coming! Is that your ten dollars downstairs? Yeah, it is. I think that's darn clever. So go get a ten dollar pumpkin with ten dollars. Come back with the ten dollars and the pumpkin. Uh, well, it was the luckiest thing. He was running this contest about guessing how many beans were in this big jar that he had on the counter. And JR and me just took this wild guess. And guess what? Let me stand back. Stand back? Yeah, see, when your nose shoots out, I don't want it to stab me in the heart. It was just like you and your buddies were talking about at your card game. JR snuck up behind while I was talking to the guy and keeping him looking the other way. It worked out just like Chris said it would. Miss Chris was in on this. She's the one who came up with the plan. Son of a gun. And he had like a million pumpkins there. I don't think one's going to hurt his business. I mean, at least that's what I think. Sit down here a minute, will you? I don't think the gal missed one pumpkin either. That's not the point. See, what you did was wrong. Stealing is stealing. Now, stealing a pumpkin, I'll grant you, isn't up there with bank robbery or holding up a gas station, but it's wrong. Now, if you got that idea from listening to us old fogies talk about what we did when we were kids, then maybe I'm kind of responsible. Now, that being the case, I'll make you a deal. You go downstairs and you get that $10 bill. And you go straighten up with that man you stole that pumpkin from. Are you going to tell Mom? Yeah, I am. She asked me. But I don't think she'll ask. You know, when I was a kid and did all that craziness, when I got caught, I had to settle up. You got caught. What do you think so far? Can we name him? Sure, we can name him. What do you want to call him? He looks like a kid in my English class, Michael. He calls himself Mickey. Michael? Michael Mickey, huh? Yeah. Michael Mickey. Homework. Mm -hmm. I gotta interrupt you for a minute, honey. I guess I better tell you. I've had a little chat with your brother David. About the pumpkins? That's right. And I'm going to tell you something, young lady. You're 15 years old, and I think you're way too old to be fooling around stealing pumpkins. Nevertheless, I've talked to him about it, and he's agreed. If it's OK with you, we'll keep it between the three of us. Your mother's too busy to be troubled with silliness like that. I don't believe this. Good afternoon. Is this the Witherspoon residence? It is. Are you Mr. Witherspoon? Yes, I am. Mr. Witherspoon, I'm afraid one of your kids might have some trouble coming at him. David, if I get kicked 
shot the honor roll because what you and JR did, I'll simply die. What are you talking about? I'm talking about stealing that stupid old pumpkin. That's what I'm talking about. Are you totally bananas? What are you doing? Stealing what? Is this like charades? The pumpkin. David and JR stole it, and I told them how. You said it again. What is this? David, it's gotten out of hand. You don't know who's out front with Gus. Gus said it wasn't that big a deal. Wait a minute. Gus knows about this? We don't have to give it back, do we? It's all carved up. You Stop carved... this. I want to know what's going on here. Okay. Gus said he didn't want to bother Mom with this. That Bother your mother. Bother her right now. It was just a prank. The kind of thing that we heard Grandpa and his buddies talking about. The kind of thing that they did in the old days. Come on here, everybody. We got company. Oh, swell. Let's see who's here, shall we? Oh, hi, Mr. Vandermeer. Molly, you know the officer? Sure, that's Bertha's father. Well, he wants to say something. Yeah, Molly, I'm afraid I do. See, Bertha came down last night with a rash. The doctor told us he's pretty sure it's chicken pox. She can't go trick-or-treating? Yeah. Maybe you, too, if you haven't had them yet. Have I had them, Mom? No, baby, you haven't had them. Oh, thank heavens I've had them. I mean, if I had to miss Lindsay's party just because I caught chicken pox from my baby sister, I... I am not a baby! And I'm gonna die if I can't go trick-or-treating! Who cares about your stupid trick-or-treating? What about my party? Don't worry about Lindsay's party, Chris. You're not going. You're grounded. And you are too, David. Oh, great! Oh, thanks a lot! Thanks a bunch! Hey, look, it's a birthday party! I've been invited to since I moved here! You're so... Oh! What an idiot! Well... And thank you, sir, for coming by. You sure brighten things up around here. Tonight on Odyssey, slaves escape in Race to Freedom, the Underground Railroad. Then, it's the conclusion of Larry McMurtry's Streets of Laredo, followed by Lonesome Dove, the Outlaw Years. Tonight at 7, only on Odyssey. A guy's world is full of sweat. That's why there's Speed Stick Ultimate. It's antibacterial. It kills the germs that cause odor. And isn't that the ultimate goal? Speed Stick Ultimate. Every day, people ask me how to lose weight. There's really no secret. You gotta eat right and eat less. That's why I recommend Dexatrim. Just one Dexatrim curbs your appetite all day, so you eat less and lose weight. I lost eight pounds. Dexatrim, proven to help you lose weight. Allergies. The watery eyes. The runny nose. Now they're a little more bearable. Because Kleenex Cold Care Ultra Comfort has the three-layer system. A special absorbent middle layer surrounded by ultimate softness. You won't find a softer tissue. And Cold Care helps keep hands clean and dry, leaving you free to enjoy the things that matter most. Kleenex Cold Care. The best care for your allergies is all your nose needs. Escape the day with Soft Soap Relaxing Body Wash. Let the calming scent of lavender and chamomile set you free. Skin is soft, smooth. Soft Soap Body Wash. More than just clean. Surfers, you can now find Odyssey on the World Wide Web. Our homepage is your guide to all the latest news and your link to everything you want to know about new movies and special, exclusive series like Donna's Day, and great programs for the whole family. Check out our Kids Corner or plan your schedule with the latest listing. You can even key in your zip code to find Odyssey on your cable system. Odyssey, a Hallmark and Henson network, is now on the web at odysseychannel.com. It was 10 years ago that a visitor came to our planet. An intelligent being that formed an alliance with the human race. Now, government agents are closer than ever to revealing that the truth is out there. The truth? You can't handle the truth. Ah! Relive the conspiracy with ALF. Tonight at 6.30 on Odyssey. Television for today's family. The truth is out here, my butt. Oh, wait. Do I even have one of those? All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'm coming. You don't have to nag. Don't push me, Chris. I mean it. Mom, how come Molly gets to stay home from school? Because she's been exposed to the chicken pox. We haven't been anywhere near Bertha. Now get in, buckle up, and pipe down.
no. Dogs can't catch chicken pox. How's your cocoa? Fine. What's going on? Well, little Molly's been exposed to the chicken pox. Chris and David are grounded. And their mother's barely speaking to me. But that's better than root canal. But not much. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. That's a shame, Gus. It's gonna put a damper in you trying to give the kids a nice first Halloween here. It's no real hill for a climber, Joe. Small victories, like you said. Like I said. You're the climber, huh, kid? That's right. You know, my friend, those kids will see me win. Sometimes they'll even see me lose. They'll never see me quit. Grandpa? Yes, ma'am. Bertha and her mom are out front. Can I go talk to them? Sure, why not? I'll go with you. Let's see how your little buddy's doing. Uh, sweet rolls are in the bread box, uh, Joe. Hello. Hi. The doctor said as long as we didn't get close to people, it was all right for Bertha to go for a car ride, and we were both getting cabin fever. I hope you don't mind us stopping by unannounced. Oh, heck, that's no problem. Hi. Sorry you can't go trick-or-treating. Hope you'll be able to. Me too. Got any blotches or itchy parts? Not so far. Did you see Cosby last week? Forget if I did or not. What was it about? Well, his parents came over and they had this big wedding anniversary. And they sang a song to them. It was so great. I love the littlest girl. She is so cute. Oh, I know. She sang that old song by... Honey, I'm going back inside. Mr. Witherspoon? Did you think one up for me yet? A nickname. As a matter of fact... Yeah. You know the little thing on top of a sewing machine that goes round and round and up and down and up and down, holds a spool of thread. And the faster the machine runs, the faster this little thing goes up and down. I seen you do that when you're excited, go up and down, up and down, up and down. Well, that's called a bobbin. That's what I'm gonna call you, it's all right. Bobbin? Bobbin. <laughs> With the Spoon Residence, this is Kaplan speaking. Oh, Joe, hi, it's Jesse. Listen, I forgot to tell Gus where the children's aspen substitute was, so in case Molly starts to run a fever, she might need some. Will you tell him where that is, please? After you tell me. It's on the top shelf, left hand side of the cupboard, behind the antacid. Okay, I'll, I'll tell him as soon as he comes in from the porch. What's he doing on the porch? A friend of Molly's, a girl named Bertha, somebody stopped by, they're out there visiting. Bertha's the one that exposed Molly to the chicken pox in the first place. What is Gus doing out there with her? Who's on the phone? You don't want to know. I will tell him about the aspirin substitute. Okay, bye-bye. I was thinking when I was having my java, Chris and David are going to be home tonight so they can open the door for trick-or-treaters. There's no reason why we can't have our poker games just the same as always. Just because uh, the kids are in Dutch, that's no reason for us to be deprived. This is the aspirin substitute in case Molly has a fever. That's what Jesse just said. So uh, think about the poker game. I'll call you later.
for a climber. How could I have given you too much change if I don't remember you buying nothing? Well, yeah. We were in here the other day, and we bought some stuff, and you gave us too much change. Yeah? What'd you buy? Sad a pumpkin? Stuff. Our mom's got this recipe for pumpkin salad. It's really great. I've never heard of a recipe for pumpkin salad. I remember you. You're the kid that was in here looking for those people to babysit for. Did you ever find those people? Yeah, the Gumbies, I did. Thanks for your help. JR, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Look, you didn't give us too much change. We swiped a pumpkin from you, and I'm trying to pay you for it. That's what this is all about. Witherspoon, you are a total wart. You swiped the pumpkin from me? No. Well, we walked off and forgot to pay you. JR, knock it off! You stole the darn thing, and you better say so or else. Yes, what? Or else I give you a chance to see whether or not you can really outrun me. We stole a pumpkin. I'm sorry. What'd you say? We stole a pumpkin. I'm sorry. Here's the $10 to pay for it. How big? How big what? How big a pumpkin? I don't know. It's about like this one here. That's not a $10 pumpkin. There's your change. I don't think that when you steal something, you're supposed to get change. There are little Molly's upstairs. No fever, no itching. Looks to me like she might have got off lucky. Did you bring the tomatoes? Yep, put it right on top. We got any iced tea? It's awfully hot out there. You look tired. Well, I had kind of had a rough day. Well, sit down a minute. I need to talk to you anyway. Take the load off your feet. I know what uh, Chrissy and David did was wrong, but I wish you'd give it another think. Yes, I made my decision no, about no, wait that a already. Hear me out, please. Nah, they're crazy kids, and they're wrong, but... You see, they got the idea from me. They were listening to me and Kaplan. We were talking about how things were around Halloween in the old days, and I didn't have any idea how it was going to affect them. Honey, if anybody around here ought to be grounded, it's me. I'd like to ground you for it, but it wouldn't stick. Wouldn't stick. And I know you'd at least like to give, uh... Oh, still. <laughs> you ever had the chicken pox? Never had him. Get him now. Today on Quiet Triumphs, from Broadway star to con victim, singer Melba Moore tells it all. Their plan was basically they would be in control, and when they got through with me, then they would move me out. Quiet Triumphs. Today at 5 on Odyssey. Escape the day with soft soap relaxing body wash. Let the calming scent of lavender and chamomile set you free. Skin is soft, smooth. Soft soap body wash. More than just clean. In 1956, a young singer changed country and pop music forever. A white sport coat. Marty Robbins. Carnation. Well, I never felt more like singing a blues. Heartland Music.
Music presents the very best of Marty Robbins. Here you return, I stay the same, dear. 30 Classics. Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. 30 Hits. Oh, devil woman. Great songs that made You're Marty Robbins an all-time legend. All day I face the barren waste without the taste of water. Now you can enjoy the finest Marty water. Robbins collection ever. Return to me. But remember, the very oh, best of Marty dear, Robbins so is not in stores. Please stay tuned to order now. Evening shadows make me blue when each weary day. To order the very best of Marty Robbins, call 1 800 409 8822. That's 1 800 409 8822. Use your credit card or send check or money order for only $17.98 for two cassettes or $19.98 for two CDs, plus four fifty shipping to Marty Robbins, Department 1, Richmond, Virginia. This is Odyssey, a hallmark in Henson Network. I can't go with Lady Di. I just can't. Yeah, why not? Because Lady Di has blonde hair, and I don't have the wig. Fergie has hair your color. Does she, really? An exact match. Dibs on the bathroom! You can leave as soon as I do my hair. I'll count the moments. Thanks for the help. Anytime. You're growing up good. Too fast, but good. Movie starts at 8.30. I'll get you there. Mm-hmm. I'll be going in a minute. Uh, you need anything from downstairs? <laughs> okay, now, I'll be gone for a while. What with Chris's party and David's. Movie and Molly's trick or treating. If the kids come to the door before I get back, just ignore the bell. I'll, I'll be along before you know it. It's coming down. You're going to be fine. Good night, honey. Good night, Gus. I feel lucky tonight, Gus. Very, very hot, kid. I brought some extra corn chips. You ran out the last time. How about those 49ers, huh? Don't ask. Grandpa, we're ready. Got this place on the table. Should we play in the living room? Goodness, come in, you little goblins. Open your little sacks here. You, you handle this. I'll get the car. Hey! Okay, kids, where do we go first? The movie starts at 8.30. So does Lindsay's party. You can be late for Lindsay's party, but if I'm late for the movie, I won't know what's going on. So you'll feel right at home. Don't you kids ever get tired of yammering back and forth at one another? No. <laughs> Grandpa, before we go, I want to thank you for getting us out of being grounded. Listen, I feel like I kind of got you into this mess. I sure, sure help you get out. And we're not going to get into any other kind of trouble like that again. Well, we'll see about that. What do you mean? 
Well, if you go and get perfect, now shut the door, honey. If you get perfect on me, then there won't be anything left for me to do around here. Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Jesse. I believe you know everyone here. Yeah, don't let me disturb you. You don't know when Gus is coming back, do you? No, I don't. I guess after ferrying everybody all over town, though, he'll be a little late. Why, can I help you? No, I don't think so. Okay. It's not a woman's kind of thing. What isn't? I mean, a woman's kind of thing, exactly. Well, it's just that with Gus, there's five, and without him, there's four. And uh, it's a lot better game with five is all. And then sometimes I got to get up and I got to walk around a little bit. And then that makes it three-handed, which isn't very good. Oh, don't ask why I got to walk around a little bit. You guys had the chicken pox? Yeah. Why, why do you ask that? <laughs> Three other Fergies. I feel like such a toad. Well, honey, you must be doing something right. Look at your bag. It's for near chuck full. Hmm, not bad. I still don't understand why we're going from store to store instead of door to door. Well, the teacher said it's safer. The parents can see the kids all the time in case there are any boogly wooglies. In case there are any boogly wooglies. Grown ups the kids can't trust. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going in here. They've got candied apples. <laughs> Heck of a way to spend an evening, huh? What a pain. Pain, you say? You know, I'm kind of enjoying this. Kids are cute. You know, it won't be long before they're too old for this kind of stuff. Won't want to sit on your knee anymore, give you a good night kiss, or have long talks with you. Oh, no, young fella. This ain't a pain. Kind of fun. Do I consider this a house call or an office visit? Oh, no charge. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> no cards for me, thanks. No cards? Nope. You seem to be feeling a lot better, too. I am. I like playing games. That's real great. Excuse me, uh, but could we bet now? Because I think in a little while I'm going to have to get up and walk around a little. Please, don't ask me why. Check. Me too. Same. I'll bet. Two chips. Uh, excuse me, you don't say two chips, you say 50 cents. I mean, like, when I go home, Gladys is going to ask me how I made out. I can't say I lost 23 chips. i got to say I lost $5.75. Same reason you're supposed to say... 50 cents instead of two chips. It's just so we don't all forget what's going on here. What's involved, you know what I mean? I'll bet 75 cents. You gonna raise the bet 25 cents? Mm-hmm. I'm out. Me too. So am I. Oh. I won again. <laughs> <laughs> well. My deal. Want to play hearts? Are you about done, honey? Well, we've still got time before we pick up Chris and David, so I've got one more stop to make. Where? Emergency room. Dr. Ryan. Dr. Mark Ryan. Call the nurses. Dr. Allen. Dr. Mark Allen. Go to surgery. Call surgery, please. All clear. They didn't have to do this when I was a boy. 
These days, you can't be too careful. Well, I think it's a sad state of affairs. That's what I think. Dr. Williams. Dr. David Williams. Call the operator. I am. A little mad, too. How come? Well, I just realized how tough it is to be a kid in this day and age. I can't imagine I'm having to x-ray Halloween candy. It wasn't like that when I was a boy. <laughs> Being a kid was easy as falling off a log. Nowadays, it's tough. And scary, too. We're making you grow up so fast, you know? I mean, it seems to me we're taking something away from you, something you'll never get back. And I don't like it. I don't mind telling you. I don't like it a bit. Did I thank you for taking me trick-or-treating? Nurse Jane. You don't Nurse have Jane. to thank me, but... Well, sure I do. I mean, I had all the fun. What did you get out of it? Give me a kiss on the jaw, I'll be way ahead of the game. You didn't ask about your candy. Oh, it's okay. How do you know? There's chocolate on your mustache, and you're not supposed to have that. Well, you have it. Home we go. Next on Quiet Triumphs, from Broadway star to con victim, singer Melba Moore tells it all. Their plan was basically they would be in control, and when they got through with me, then they would move me out. Quiet Triumphs, next on Odyssey. Allergies, the watery eyes, the runny nose. Now they're a little more bearable. Because Kleenex Cold Care Ultra Comfort has the three-layer system. A special absorbent middle layer surrounded by ultimate softness. You won't find a softer tissue. And Cold Care helps keep hands clean and dry, leaving you free to enjoy the things that matter most. Kleenex Cold Care. The best care for your allergies is all your nose needs. <sighs> a guy's world is full of sweat. That's why there's Speed Stick Ultimate. It's antibacterial. It kills the germs that cause odor. And isn't that the ultimate goal? Speed Stick Ultimate. By Landon. Osteoporosis can turn your life into a nightmare. Even the simplest things you take for granted can become overwhelming. What's more frightening is how many women it will affect. Up to half of all women over 50 will suffer a fracture from this silent disease. And calcium alone isn't enough to prevent osteoporosis for most women after menopause. But this nightmare can be avoided. There are breakthrough medicines that can prevent osteoporosis by building bone. Call now to receive important information free before thin, weak bones lead to a loss of your independence and mobility. Discover what so many women already know. You don't have to face a scary future. Grandma! Where even a simple hug can be difficult to bear. Call now. Get this information and discuss it with your doctor. It's not too late to prevent osteoporosis. Call now. The next time you're in this chair, ask your dentist to recommend a toothpaste. Odds are it'll be Colgate Total. More dentists recommend Colgate Total than any leading toothpaste. It's the only one approved to help prevent plaque and gingivitis while fighting cavities, tartar buildup, and bad breath. And it does it for 12 hours. So take your dentist's advice and try Colgate Total. Unless this is your idea of kicking back and relaxing. Colgate Total. It's toothpaste, only better. Plenty of time for that in the morning, you know. You better get upstairs and hit the sack. You're tired and you need your rest, and so do I. Well, Come on. Sounds good. I'll make a deal with you now. What's that? Next Halloween, I will take Molly to the okay? Well, let's both take her, as long as she's of a mind to go. Yeah. I'll get that. <laughs> you go to bed. 
sleep tight, punk. <laughs> Witherspoons. Molly's gone to bed. She's been asleep for over an hour. She was real tuckered out. I'll tell her you called. Good night to you. By golly, I did. I did forget. Good night, Bobbin. Dear Diary, tonight was Halloween night. I was supposed to trick or treat with Bertha, but she got chicken pox and now she gets to take baths in oatmeal. Anyway, Grandpa took me down to Kruger's Mall and he went with me all around. I got three candy apples and a bunch of regular stuff. I was dressed like Princess Fergie and Grandpa said I looked like a real princess. I think I felt just like one too. It was a neat Halloween, maybe the best one I ever had. And you know what? I think Grandpa had a good time, too. What if it rains? Well, I'll chip in and get a motel room or something. I wonder why I knew this was coming. I heard you were a brain and all that. I guess I thought you wouldn't be interested in the same things as I am. I don't approve of a trip this long on chaperone. I just don't. How could we take a chaperone? Who'll go with us anyway? Ladies and gentlemen, that's your captain speaking. You want to turn that noisy thing off? of inspiration recipes for life chicken soup for the soul Tuesdays at 8 7 central on PAX season 2000 by factory direct the jewelry exchange in Tustin has expanded and now has the largest factory showroom in the US we guarantee our jewelry to be the lowest price compare Tiffany's one carat invisible bands for over five thousand dollars with the jewelry exchanges GVS quality for sixteen hundred one carat pendants are two forty nine two carat tennis bracelets three forty nine and one carat studs three ninety nine we carry thousands of rings bracelets and pendants we guarantee all our jewelry to appraise for at least double the jewelry exchange in Tustin Mercury Insurance offers great service at a low price so why haven't you called oh I don't believe it well they've got a great track record yeah Prove it. Okay. 95% of our policyholders renew their auto insurance with us. That many? Mm-hmm. Must be pretty good service. The service is better than good, and so are the savings. Just call a local Mercury agent or broker and find out. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Hey, hey, that's my phone. Oh, it's worth a call. 1-888-4-MERCURY.
the longest lasting full size pickup with overall the most powerful line of engines, plus a big cash allowance, and you've got Dodge Ram, the truck California LOVE loves. The only thing better than being here is being here. Grown-ups are always telling you to make decisions on your own until you make a decision they don't like. I guess that's when the difference is between grown-ups and kids. They can overrule us. Sue Ann's birthday is Saturday. I'm gonna get her a Dragon's Breath video cartridge. Hold still, will ya? For heck's sake. What's the matter? Don't little girls like dolls anymore? Well, they're nice, too. But I like to play Dragon's Breath. Sue Ann will probably want me to show her how to play. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Yellow wood, yellow wood, yellow wood, wood, wood. Sorry I could not travel the boat. Maybe you won't travel along I stood. Stood, stood, along I stood. Look down one as far as I could to where it bit in the undergrowth. Not the old, but the other, the undergrowth. They took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and worn and wet. David? Yes, sir? What is that, Robert Frost? Yeah, you know it. Well, I thought I did till I heard you doing what you're doing. Turn that thing off and take those glasses off. You look like some kind of a bebop. It's called rap, and I have to do it for English. We're supposed to memorize this poem, and then I have to explain to the class what it means. And I figured that if I do it like a rap, the kids will really get into it, and I won't have to explain it. Teacher gonna let you do that? Well, I have to do something. This poem's really confusing. No, my boy. The poem is very clear. You're confusing. Just read it. Read it? Just read it. Don't kids do that anymore for schoolwork? It's about time. For what? For your sister to get home from the cockeyed school meeting. You'd think if they were going to have them, they'd let them out in a decent hour. Come on. Come on what? Come in the house. She's just sitting out there, you know, with whoever it is brought her home. Just sitting. Well, at least she's home. She is not home. Home is in here, not out there. I think Chris is in big trouble. Homework waiting for you inside, young lady. Gosh, I finished my homework, Pop. <laughs> well, I don't understand what's so funny. You know, your 15-year-old daughter's not home yet. Oh. It ain't no wonder with her mother okay. sitting out there acting like yeah. some kind of bobby soxer. What's going on? I'll be right there, Gus. I'll be right in. Well, Gus, I wish you'd waited around. I wanted you to meet Stuart. More on my mind than your date. He's not a date. He's a friend of Johnny's and mine. We just had dinner, that's all. You don't have to explain anything to me. I'm not explaining it. I'm not. Pick a tile. You want to play at this hour? Well, we could stare at each other until your daughter gets home, if you'd rather. No, no, no. Z, you go first. You really worried about Chris? It's not even late yet. I know what time it is. And I know Chris is a good kid. But with what you hear on the radio and you see on the television and in the movies, then you know how them teenage boys are. Gus, I know about boys, okay? But I also know about Chris. I know the folks that raised her. I also know her grandpa. There. Have a look at that. W-Y-E? You challenge? Yeah. Good.
W-Y-E, a railroad term referring to the Y-shaped switch used for backing up trains. W-Y-E. Double the score, it's 18. I know how many points I know. Hi, I'm home. Where is everybody? Your daughter is now home. And everybody on the west side of town is awake. Yeah, she's home. We're in here, honey. You are never going to believe. And you're late. I don't believe it myself. Mom, you know Mark Hansen? That boy at school that you said is so vain and egotistical? Oh, well, yeah. He asked me out. I mean, me. Isn't that incredible? Well, if you like vain and egotistical, maybe you ought to try a tell of the hun. Well, he's not really vain. It just seemed that way when he wasn't paying any attention to me. But that's not all. Oh, I'm not sure I can take any more. He invited me to a concert to see Fire Axe. It's our first appearance since Nigel Toombs rejoined the band. Well, honey, that's wonderful. Yeah. You have to leave real early Saturday morning, right before dawn. Oh, it's a breakfast concert. No. The concert's in San Francisco. San Francisco. It's our only West Coast appearance. That's why we have to go there. Could we go back to the place where we talked about vain and egotistical, please? Let's go back a little further. Let's go back to where you're late. Look, I know what you're both thinking, but it's okay, really. Well, not, let me be clear, okay? You want to drive to San Francisco all day, just the two of you? Of course not. Lee and Jason are going, and so are Mindy and Brian. Who's driving? Mark. His car will hold six, if we squeeze a little. What about after the concert, Saturday night? We head home. Without any sleep. Well, we'll stop for a few hours. We'll take sleeping bags. What if it rains? Well, I'll chip in and get a motel room or something. wonder why I knew this was coming. Chris, I've got to think about this. Mom, does this mean you're going to give me a hard time about this it? This means I'm going to think about it. I think you better go to bed. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Mother, I've never wanted anything more in my life than to do this. Good night. Night. Night, Grandpa. Are you kidding? I mean, you really have to think about this? I owe Chris that much. Besides, I can't go around knocking on the closed windows of parked cars. It's not my style. Chris has never given me any reason not to trust her. I don't think it's a matter of you not trusting her. She's never been this age before. I'll have the gardener dig a moat first thing in the She's morning. She's never been away for the weekend with a boy before. And we never did get around to discussing the fact that she was late. I thought she handled that pretty well. Who? No, Gus, I've got it. It's okay, I've got it. No, no, it's okay, Mr. Redman. No, it's okay, really. The clock was going to go off in about half an hour anyway. I don't understand. Well, no, she's not here. Look, there's some kind of misunderstanding. Oh, let me get a hold of Chris for you. Hold on. do this a lot. Yeah. Okay, thanks, sweetie. Wait, Mom. Yeah. Are you going to tell Mrs. Redman? Yes, I am. Look, I don't want to be a tattletale, but I think she has a right to know that her daughter's safe, don't you? Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. And later on, I want to talk to you about this. I really don't have much to say, Mother. It's okay. I do. Go to sleep. Go on. Go to sleep. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood. And I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Edgar A. Guest. No, sir, it's not Edgar A. Guest, it's Robert Frost, you oh. see. Oh. Well, I know I heard it someplace before. Heard it? Kaplan, you used to run a bookstore for crying out loud. Gus, I sold them, I didn't read them all. I see. Anyway. Can you figure that kid, David, not knowing what that meant? Well, it's very simple. Of course it is. It's about a guy who has a tough time making up his mind. <laughs> Joe, it's about making unpopular decisions. That's what it's about. Well, I never was much for poetry, but there is one that I remember. There was a young lady Hi. in Worcester. Kaplan. Grandma, can you drop me off at the tape store after school tomorrow? How's come? I have to get Sue Ann's birthday present. She's bringing the invitations to school today. I think I can juggle my schedule for that. Morning. Young man, did you get that paper written? Yes, sir. I decided it was pretty simple after all. Well, I'm glad you figured that out. Sure. See, what the guy should do is take one of the roads in the morning, and then come back and take the other one in the afternoon. <laughs> is Mom going to take us this morning? That's what she said before she kicked me out so she could talk with Chris. I just don't feel comfortable, Chris. Now, if that makes me known foggy, then it does. But why, Mother? If I wanted to do something like that, I wouldn't have to go to San Francisco. You can trust me. I'll bet Lee's mom felt the same way, didn't she? You mean you're going to punish me because of what Lee does? You're not being punished, Chris. Whatever you call it. You're going to stop me from doing something that's very important to me because of what another girl did. And that's not fair. I know it seems... Look. You and I have always been able to talk about everything, about anything at all, about love, even about sex. We have. And that's why I don't understand this. I know you... Look, maybe it was just always in the abstract before. Now I'm beginning to realize that it may not be abstract much longer. That's what that phone call did. I'm sorry you think that I'm overreacting. But I don't approve of a trip this long on chaperone. I just don't. How could we take a chaperone? It's a squeeze to get six of Mark's car. And who'd go with us anyway? I'd go with you. I'd go in a second if I could. That's how much I don't want you disappointed. But I can't go, Chris. I've got to work on Saturday. I'm sorry it's turning out this way. But still, the bottom line is you don't trust me. I do trust no! you. No! You bring up Lee and the whole matter of sex. Mother, I'm not asking permission to go to bed with Mark. I'm asking permission to go to a concert. And if you say no, it's because you don't trust me. I'm not going to argue about it, Chris. It's my responsibility to make this decision, and I will make it. And when you're mature enough to have that responsibility, then you'll make the decision. But that time hasn't happened yet. So I'll make it. And I'm sorry I'm not deciding the way that you want me to. I really am. You say the time is coming when I'll decide for myself. The time is also coming when I stop accepting your word on everything. in the packed smile abrasion sweepstakes. A typical car insurance agent is on the job during regular business hours. On the other hand, GEICO insurance professionals are on the job 24 hours a day. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Still paying too much for car insurance? 
Geico. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more. Caress fragranced body washes. They do more than silken skin. Their fragrances seduce your senses. They're completely transforming. Now that really changes things. Caress fragranced body washes. Imagine a dryer that gently dries clothes in the time it takes to wash them. The new Sension dryer from Whirlpool makes time fly. Whirlpool, just imagine. Use an ordinary pain rub on your arthritis and everyone knows it. Use odor-free Asper Cream instead and get clinically proven fast-acting pain relief nobody knows about but you. Aspirin-free Asper Cream. Fast relief no one knows about but you. Just a little thank you note to my dentist for recommending Colgate Total. Its advanced formula actually stays on your teeth after you brush. And 12 hours later, it's still there, helping to protect them. For 12-hour protection, Colgate Total. Can't get enough peanuts? Get a payday. Sweet caramel and tons of salty peanuts. Country Crock plus calcium. That's an important addition. Especially to me. Why? Oh, because of our little addition. You're not. I am. Wow, you need this. Eat, eat. <laughs> our family's growing too. New Shed Spread Country Crock plus calcium. Tonight on PAX TV, when her only child is kidnapped. I don't know where. I just left him alone for a minute. And the police haven't a clue. You don't know anything, admit it. A desperate mother has no other choice. She turns to the mob. One of my enemies. I think he may have your child. Don't miss the unforgettable story of the power of a mother's love. We have to do something right now. We have no time. But you're going to have to trust me. And Jillian and Charlton Heston. Original Sin. Tonight at 9, 8 Central on PAX TV. When it really counts, you stand your ground. Looks like we've got a lot in common. You can always depend on Chevy to be there for you. And now, during the Chevrolet U.S. Olympic Countdown, get up to $2,000 cash back or low APR financing on select Chevy cars. Don't let this selection pass you by. Make a stop at your Chevy dealer today for the Chevrolet U.S. Olympic Countdown. Hi. Oh, hi, Mark. I just talked to Scott Hayes. Who? My friend in San Francisco. He pulled the strings. Six tickets held at the box office until 5 o'clock Saturday. Great. And we're really going to have to leave early. Like, we don't want to get up there and find out they sold our seats to somebody else. Well, just tell me what time to set my alarm for. You know something? I was really wrong about you. How's that? Well, I've been watching you ever since the semester began. I, I thought about asking you out, but I decided you were probably too... Too what? I don't know. I heard you were a brain and all that. I guess I thought you wouldn't be interested in the same things as I am. Well, I really don't know what brains have to do Hey, with... Chris, tell your mom thanks a bunch. I guess we know who we can depend on now, don't we? Oh, Lee, Jason, come on. My parents are still having spasms. Look, I'm really sorry about your mom, but my mom had no choice. Your mother was so upset. We'll see if we use you as alibi Annie again, huh? Well, I hope you don't, because I don't like being used. Hey, don't worry about it. I understand. It's okay. But won't that mean that you won't be able to go to the Farrax concert? <laughs> not in this lifetime. My parents will calm down in a couple of days. I'm not really worried. Come on, let's go. See you later. Bye. Take a deal. <laughs> My mom's going to call your mother. I hope it's OK. What for? Well, you're not going to believe this, but she's nervous about the trip. At first, she said I couldn't even go. Try that on. But then I told her that your mother said it was a terrific idea. So she said she'd call her later, maybe, and talk it over. That's fine. But I don't think my mom's going to be home tonight. Oh, well, just tell her to call when it's convenient. We're in the book on Juniper Lane. OK. You are so lucky not to have to fight with your folks about stuff like this. Yeah, I'm lucky, all right. David, will you please leave us alone for a while? 
What's going on? There's just something I want to talk to Mom and Grandpa about. Great. Molly won't talk to anybody. Now you want to talk to everybody but me. I wonder if Arthur's still speaking to me. Chris just wants some privacy, sir. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Thanks, David. If you were smart, you'd want me here. I'm the only one in the family who thinks they should let you go. Come on, Arthur. <coughs> Please sit down. Why does this feel like a jury box? I suppose now you want to talk to me. Well, I just want to let you know that I'm not going to talk to you. Unless you beg. And that goes for you, too. There's something I want to discuss with both of you. And I promise you that I'm going to be very calm about it. You both have always taught me that when I have a problem, I should search for a solution and not just stand around and cry about it. Well, I have a real problem. You see, I've been the new kid in school and the one who makes good grades. So it's been pretty lonely. Do you think I don't know that, Chris? I know you realize that. But this is my chance to make real friends and not feel so weird anymore. And everything seems to be dependent on my being responsible and your trusting me. So you tell me what I can do to reassure you, and I'll do it. Chris, I don't know what to say to you. What I mean is, I will do anything, literally anything, to be able to go. That doesn't change the fact that this is an overnight trip with young people that we don't know, Chris. And two of those people are sexually active. Most of the people in the world are sexually active. That doesn't mean I'm going to catch it like a Most pirate. Most people aren't 15 years old. Grandpa, will you please tell her that she's being unreasonable? No. See, she's not being unreasonable. And I'm darn glad she has the strength to tell you what she thinks is right. But what about me? Don't shout. Well, you must have done pretty good. Because when they stomp out the front door, you got to worry. What's the matter? Chris? I don't want to talk, OK? I just wanted to know what was wrong. Molly, leave me alone. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You didn't. It has nothing to do with you. No. Then why are you crying? I'm not. Molly, I asked you a question. And I asked you what was wrong, and you wouldn't tell me that either. It's just that there's something I really want to do. I just have to. And Mom says I can't. I know. David told me. Then why did you ask? I was just trying to make you feel better. Oh. So what's the matter with you? I didn't get invited. What? To Sue Ann's birthday party. Why? I don't know. Naomi got invited, and Belinda. Just about everybody. Well, maybe it was a mistake. No. Sue Ann was handing out the invitations. She looked right at me and walked away. Please don't say it doesn't matter. I won't. I know it does matter. What a prize winner of a day, was it? No. Well, you know what Scarlett O'Hara said. Who? She said tomorrow is another day. Did she say dumb things like that a lot? Excuse me, I, I thought Gus was alone. I didn't hear the noise on, you guys come usually on, make at breakfast. Come I on can in, come back it. later. Come and get a cup of coffee, for crying out loud. Molly, I don't know what to do about your problem. If this friend of yours doesn't realize how much fun you'll be at the party, 
I guess we'll have to let that be her problem. Chris, there is something I can do for you. What, Grandpa? Well, I can see Crimshaw and see if his van's out of the shop and see if I can borrow it. Crimshaw's van? What's that got to do with anything? It'll haul seven people and I can't. Seven, huh? If it's that big a deal to you, you're going to go to that concert. If it's all right with you. All right with me. And you can tell your friends to tell their parents that I'll be doing the driving and I'll be the chaperone so they don't have to worry about that. Okay? That'll be that. This is really nice, Grandpa. Just a little thank you note to my dentist for recommending Colgate Total. Its advanced formula actually stays on your teeth after you brush. And 12 hours later, it's still there, helping to protect them. For 12-hour protection, Colgate Total. Turkey on white, extra best foods. I bet the average lunch here takes under six minutes. The faster, the better. When was the last time you really tasted what best foods mayonnaise does to a sandwich? How long is it going to be here? Almost done? In a minute. Lunch isn't a race. Why eat and run? Take the time to taste the best foods. Oh, I think he's finished. Check. Another sandwich, please. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Bring out the best foods. Bring out the best. I'll lock up. Mm. Recently, a study of 110,000 men and women conducted at Harvard University found that drinking a glass of orange juice every day may reduce the risk of stroke by 25%. Evidently, the word is out. 100% pure Florida orange juice. Drink a glass every day. It likes to be touched. It loves to be hugged. Dove knows your skin is important, even the skin under your arms. I always use Dove, so I tried their deodorant. I'm a single mom, and I run around like three people, and I'm still fresh, because I do my little sniff. Smelling good still. Dove antiperspirant combines powerful protection with one quarter moisturizer that cares for your skin. The moisturizer feels soft and smooth, and it disappears on my skin. It's the only antiperspirant with the touch of Dove. That deodorant got it going on. Just a little thank you note to my dentist for recommending Colgate Total. Its advanced formula actually stays on your teeth after you brush. And 12 hours later, it's still there, helping to protect them. For 12-hour protection, Colgate Total. This summer, something mysterious is coming to PAX TV. I'll never deny that weird things happen. Ray Dawn Chong. She's a shrink. Adrian Pazdar. He's an anthropologist. A professor of anthropology. Investigate mysterious events. No! No! That change people's lives forever. An intensely original new series. One rule, show me. One question. What if? Mysterious Ways. This summer on PAX TV. You're watching PAX TV. Share it with someone you love. Once upon a time, senior health care benefits were carved in stone. But today, the ground is shifting beneath the health care industry. A shakeup is on the horizon. Will it send tremors through your benefits? Will your coverage fall through the cracks? In this uncertain environment, who can you trust to keep you on firm ground? Blue Cross of California, the company Californians trust for dependable coverage. Call 800-828-5999 to receive this informative free booklet, Medicare Today, The Changes, Your Choices. It examines the fast-changing environment of senior health care, exploring Medicare HMOs, Medicare supplements, and more. Life has its challenges. Blue Cross offers more ways to face them. Call your Blue Cross agent or 800-828-5999. Now we got to be on the road by 6 o'clock in the morning. That means we got to get up by 5. Now the best way to do that is for everybody to get to bed as soon as possible. Okay. Uh -huh. However, boy's in the kitchen and the girl's out oh. here. Oh, that's Come on. Tough luck, lover boy. Maybe. 
Now, the entry hall here, that's no man's land. Or no woman's land, whichever applies. Well, at least we got the fridge. No, you yeah. don't. If I let you in the fridge, I gotta let them in the fridge, and then I wind up with a lot of cross traffic here through no man's land. It's a great place. Any questions? No. Get to bed. Good night. Good night. Mark, can we talk for a minute? Sure, what is it? Well, why don't we go outside, huh? Mark, I, I wanted to explain to you why I wouldn't let Chris uh, go with you to San Francisco. Oh, you don't have See, to. See, it has nothing to do with you, actually. It has to do with the way that, that I, I've... Well, the way that we feel about her and, and our responsibility towards her. I understand. Matter of fact, that's why her grandfather feels so strongly about chaperoning this trip. Because she's, she's real special to us. <laughs> I can tell. And, well, I, I like her, too. Well, that's wonderful. I know Chris is real fond of you. Oh, no. And that's why I know that, well, that you both uh, will behave with respect and consideration and... Don't say it, Mom, please. And, and you won't do anything to hurt the other person, all right? She said it. Yes, ma'am. And my parents are glad Mr. Witherspoon is coming along. They're a little old-fashioned, too. Oh. Night, Mom. Oh, I thought you were asleep by now. I miss Chris. She's right downstairs. Do you think she'd mind if I went down and slept there? No, she wouldn't mind. I'd mind. They're getting up early in the morning, and... I don't know. I need my sleep. The birthday party still. I don't understand what I did. Do you suppose this has anything to do with who won the spelling bee at school? But Sue Ann said she was glad I won. She even congratulated me, like the story. Good story. Last week, Mrs. Harris asked me to read my story in front of the whole class. Did she ask Sue Ann? No, but Sue Ann said it didn't matter. Well, maybe Sue Ann is tired of getting second place to Molly Witherspoon. And maybe she's getting even, huh? But we're friends. At least I thought we were. I know. That's why it hurts. Tell you what you've got to do. You've got to not let it hurt. And that way, Sue Ann is the one who gets disappointed. You're right. But, Mom, it does hurt. I know that, sweetie. I know. And you just flick that lever there for high beams. I know, Crimshaw. Come on, kid, will you shake a leg? Are you kidding? I can barely walk. That floor was hard. And to get it in reverse, you just pull the shift all the way over to the right and down. I know that too, sir. Good morning, honey. It's so dark. Well, it usually is this time of morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are they going to sleep all the way up there? Wouldn't that be a blessing? But I kind of doubt it. You sure you can handle anything this modern, Gramps? I tell you, kid, I'll do the best I can. Okay. That one of those tape players that's designed to shatter glass? Not on this trip, sir. Don't play that thing too loud, Chrissy. I won't miss a Crenshaw. And don't you forget the gas gauge. Now, when it gets into the red, it's got about two and a half gallons left. So find the gas station real quick. I will. Will you let it go, Crenshaw? I got to get this show on the road. Now, move out of the way. Oh, all right, all right. But look, just be careful. I promise you, I'll bring your machine back and it won't so much as have a scratch on it. Now, will you get out of the way? Chrissy, honey, you want to shut the door? Yeah. And off we go. Gentlemen, this 
your captain speaking. You want to turn that noisy thing off? Now, I like music. I've got nothing against music. Matter of fact, I really like it. So I brought some tapes of my own. So what we're going to do is going to play some of yours, and we're going to play some of mine. But I control the volume. Since it's early, what do you say we start with one of mine? The Radiant Strings? Ooh. Just play it, kid. You're going to like it. That's an order. Oh my gosh, 600 miles of elevator music. Hi. How did you sleep? Do I have to go to school on Monday and face everybody? Oh, dear. I'm afraid you do, Pumpkin. They're all going to be laughing at me. Oh, no, they won't laugh at you at all. You can just walk in there with your head held high and show them everything is super. Show them that that birthday party means nothing to you at all. Not a thing. And I guarantee you, they'll respect you for it. What do I do about Sue Ann? Well, mostly I think you just ignore Sue Ann. Unless she starts to pick on you, of course. Then if she does that, you just give her a look that says, if you pick on me, miss, I'll just spit in your eye. You want me to spit in her eye? No, I don't want you to do that. But give her a look that says you could do that if you wanted to do that. I think you'll do just fine. Come on, breakfast, let's go. And a girl. What is it? I guess I forgot to tell you about the rules. Number one, everybody gets in their own sleeping bag. Oh, come on. We're not doing anything. I know, kid. I was a boy once myself. Now get out of there and get in your own bag. If we come keep on. stopping for every little thing, we are never going to make it to this concert. Yeah. Sis, we stop for this once more. We're turning around and going home now. It's up to you. Come on, guys. Give us a break. Okay, Jace, move it. Yes, sir. Anything you say, sir. You guys happy now? Huh? It's really oh, fun no. now. Hi, big guy. What's Molly up to? Watching TV and taking big breaths. You just forget about that stupid part. No, she needs somebody to hang out with. How about you, Mom? You're her mother. Well, I've got to work this afternoon. Besides, it's always assumed that a mom will step in because she has to. But if somebody who normally hates the person were to step in and invite him to a movie or just to hang out, well, that would mean something, wouldn't it? I'll have to think about that for a while. What was that? I don't know, but whatever it was, we hit it. It's just a rock or something. No, it was an animal. And we're going to go back and see how bad it's hurt. Great. After trying different methods and not getting pregnant, the Richardsons now have a little girl. The Brants, their baby boy, thanks to the Clear Plan Easy Fertility Monitor. It identifies more fertile days each cycle than any leading method, maximizing your chances of conceiving. Like the roses. Introducing the Clear Plan Easy Fertility Monitor. Clear results. These babies are not models. They were conceived using the Clear Plan Easy Fertility Monitor. My dad and I are pretty close. One day last year, his arthritis was acting up, so he took some Bayer. It has all the strength of prescription Tylenol. It relieved his pain. The next day, he suffered a heart attack. Incredibly, the doctor said Bayer not only relieved his arthritis pain, but aspirin helped save his life. Knowing all that Bayer can do, why would anyone take any other pain reliever again? Bayer. Powerful pain relief and so much. 
much more. Congratulations. You finally made it. Thanks. Oh. So, you got your whole life ahead of you. What are you going to do now? <laughs> well, thought about working. Eh. Looked into retirement. Looks good. I'm gonna play a little canasta, shuffleboard, golf, eat a little shellfish, salsa Saturdays, bingo Mondays. I'm retiring. Want a step you can really skip? New Cascade Complete helps you skip scrubbing and rinsing. Finally, skip the sink, cause food's dissolved away. Where'd you get that sweater vest? New from Cascade. Cascade Complete. Skip the sink. Every day I listen to people, I hear so much regret. I always thought I'd have time for a family. I just let my... Why did I say those things to her? Now she's gone forever. What if you could stop, go back and change your past? <laughs> I can make it happen. Introducing Paul Popovich in a remarkable new season of Twice in a Lifetime, coming this August to PAX TV. So, what would you change? Mercury Insurance offers great service at a low price. So why haven't you called? Uh, my current auto insurance company's fine. Okay, but if you switch to Mercury, you'd still get great service and probably save money. Yeah, but my insurance company sent me a birthday card, see? Yeah, that's <laughs> nice, but you know, drivers who switch to Mercury save on average more than $500 a year. That's right. How much is that card worth? Oh, well, it's... Uh-huh. It's worth a phone call. 1-888-4-MERCURY. All miles in California are paved, but not to worry. Add this generous cash allowance to Dodge Durango with best-in-class room and power and then proceed to fob out room any place you please. It was a small animal, a raccoon, a possum, something about that size. Poor thing. Well, did it hurt the van? No. Well, then why don't we get going? Well, I don't know if it's dead, you see. Well, does it really matter if the animal's dead? It matters to me. Well, what can we do? Stay right here. I'll go track it and see how bad it's hurt. And what are we supposed to do while you're out of playing Daniel Boone? You're supposed to stay right here. What I'd like to do is I'd like to get going. We're late for the concert as it is, remember? Jason's right. It's just some dumb little jackrabbit. Probably dead already. Well, how do we know? We can't just drive off and leave it. Well, you're discussing it. I'll go see what I ran into. Grandpa, wait. I'll go with you. Stay there. Me too. Wait for me. Yeah, and me. No, you stay. Okay. And who's gonna stop me? All right, if you're gonna go with me, you're gonna do exactly what I tell you, you understand? How do we go about it? All right, you look along the shoulder here and see if you can see signs of blood. Now, be careful. This is a wild animal that's been hurt, so don't reach for it like it's somebody's house cat. Be careful. See? Looks like he's gone across the road. Now, when you get over there, spread out. Be very careful. I'm going to get back to my normal size. But Slush, don't you enjoy being big? You were such a hero when the mutants were around. You're just doing my duty, Panthro. But now I can't. I remember this one. One of those dumb ones. Hey, I've got an idea. If I can get Mom to okay it, do you want to go to a movie? What's the catch? No catch. I just felt like getting out of the house. I don't like going by myself. Of course, if you don't want to go, I mean, I know you don't want to be seen with your own brother. Well, if Mom says it's okay, I still got some of my allowance left over. Maybe afterwards we can stop off at Fat Raleigh's for an orange whip. You all right? Yeah. It'll be fun. We can just hang out. Okay, I'll go get ready. 
I won't be able to tell you anything until I get a better look. What, what the heck happened? I hit it on the road. You mean this isn't a pet? Is that okay? That it isn't a pet? Oh, sure, sure. Take it easy now. Strange, but it's okay. Uh, this might take a little while. There's a sandwich shop across the street if you want to wait. It's a little more comfortable than here. Uh, this uh, robe belong to anybody? Oh, it's mine. I thought it needed something to be wrapped in. I'll keep it here until you get back. You know, I really think this whole situation stinks. Will you calm down? No, I'm not going to calm down. First of all, you guys decide to find this little animal, and then you decide to bring it to the vet, and now what are we doing? We're sitting here waiting for it. You know, what about Brian and me? We've been waiting a long time to go see Fire Axe. I don't care. Look, I don't care whether you guys want to see him or not. I think the least thing you can do is let us take the keys to the van, and we'll pick you up on the way back. That's right. Kid's got a point, you know. Look, Gramps, just stay out of it, okay? Because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Jason. Well, he's the one who hit the raccoon, isn't he? Well, we're the ones who decided to stay. No, you decided to stay. Now, Scott is going to hold the tickets for us, all right? Great. So all we'll miss is the opening acts. Big deal. We'll still have time to see most of the concert. So quit being a jerk, Jason. Oh, that's a pretty beat-up animal. Can it be saved? Well, I don't know whether well, saves the right word. It has a broken pelvis and femur. Well, those things can be fixed, can't they? Yes, but uh, that's only part of the problem. You have to remember that this isn't a pet. It's a wild animal. It needs to be 100% to make it out in a wild. I recommend you put the animal to sleep. No! no. no. Yeah, I would, yeah, I no. think we should. Not if there's no. a chance to save it. We brought it to you. All you're going to do is send it back to the wild. It doesn't seem worth the effort or expense. Doctor, if you can fix it, well, can you? Yes, I'm fairly certain, but uh, you don't seem to understand it. Oh, no, no, I do understand, and I agree with you. But for the sake of these kids, if you can fix it, go ahead and fix it. They're pretty good kids, you know. Well, all except for him, he's kind of a sniveling brat. Who are you calling a brat now? You. I mean, I got an eight-year-old granddaughter that acts more grown up than you do. Well, it's not cheap. I know. What do you think it'll cost? Two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> That's not cheap. I guess I can write you a check for that. I'm sorry, I can't accept an out-of-town check from uh, someone I don't know. You can't. See how much money we got. I got $133 here. Here's 20. That's your concert money, you know. I know. between you people and the raccoon, but I sure hope it's catchy. Your turn, Mr. Weatherspoon. Okay, you got any tapes by those fellows we were on our way up to here? You mean fire axe? You bet. <laughs> music. Well, I figured we missed a chance to hear those guys. We just well listen to them now.
The one who lifts the mountains from the earth is the same one who cares for you. See his handiwork on worship. Nothing brightens your child's day like their favorite songs. I'm a little teapot, sure and stout. Here is my hand. Now Time Life Music brings you a new collection. 100 Best Love Kids songs for just $24.99. owning every one of your children's favorite songs all in one collection. You'll get all their favorite playtime songs. All those great sing-along songs. And all of the best loved lullabies. One hundred kids songs on four CDs or four cassettes for just twenty four ninety nine. hundred kids songs. If you're not completely satisfied, Time Life will refund every penny of your purchase price. So call now for 100 kids songs. To order 100 kids songs, call 1-800-201-6633. That's 1-800-201-6633. Or send $24.99 for four CDs or four cassettes, plus $4.99 shipping and handling to 100 Kids Songs, Department 1, Richmond, Virginia, 23280. When hate infects a small town. Some people say you saw who did it. Who can you trust? She's a Nazi. Promised Land, tomorrow at 8, 7 Central. home a day early. What about the concert? Who's this gentleman? Oh, because I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, this is Stuart Tracy. I've told you all about him. It's me, sir. I guess with this one. Uh, the concert, what happened? We didn't go. Why not? What happened? We had an adventure. An adventure? Yeah, we saved a raccoon. We had a great time, didn't we, Grandpa? We did. How's Molly? Well, Molly's great. She's upstairs with David. They're swapping elephant jokes. They're doing what? Swapping elephant jokes. David and Molly? Yep. They've been doing that ever since they came back from the movies. Gus, what's the matter? A uh, little wax in my ears, all. Well, we're off. We're too. We're going to the movies. I'll hear about your adventure when I get home. Good night, Gus. Good night. Have a good Before night. Before you go, Mr. Tracy, our mother is very special to us. Well, she's uh, very special to me, too, Chris. I know. And that's why I'm sure that you would treat her with consideration and respect. And will not do anything that would hurt her. You're such a cutie. I'll explain in the car. Good night, Chris. Good night. You put me in mind of my side of the family. <laughs> America's families are talking about It's a Miracle. There's something really great about watching the real stories. Real people in trouble. They're in danger. And then the unbelievable happens. I sit there, my mouth drops open. It's all real. It's such an addicting show. A whole new season of Miracles starts Thursday, August 24th, only on PAX TV. <laughs> Times have changed.